Good evening. I'm Brett Baer. We are coming to you live from Sindala Island, a very windy Sindala Island in Saudi Arabia on the Red Sea, where it is one o'clock Thursday morning. Tonight, an exclusive in-depth interview with one of the most powerful people in the world, Saudi Arabia's de facto ruler, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. We will cover a number of subjects, including U.S. relations with the kingdom, Iran nuclear ambitions, negotiations with Israel, Saudi oil policy, the murder of Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi, and the Crown Prince's message to families of victims of the 9-11 attacks. This is the first time he has done an interview completely in English. Usually on special report road shows, this is the time we bring you other headlines in the U.S. and around the world. But tonight, there are so many headlines coming out of this interview, we do not want to delay. Here is His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman. This is the island of Sindala, the first project in Neom, your Vision 2030. It is spectacular. It is really beautiful. You know, a lot of people have described you as a visionary leader. I talked to a number of your citizens, and that's how they describe you. And you didn't even plant them. That's really how they talk about you. Um, and world leaders are saying the same thing. You've had this transformational change, every aspect of the kingdom, economic, social, cultural, religious. Can you give us some specific examples of what your goals are and how you think all of this is going? Well, simply, uh, we have in the past uh, few issues in Saudi Arabia and a lot of opportunities that we didn't use. We're trying to capture that and to go forward for a better Saudi Arabia. And that's what we're trying to do. And it's a big vision. It is a big vision, and we, uh, we get like surprised every day that uh, we reach our target faster, and we ex extend that to a newer target and a bigger uh, uh, ambition. So it's really exciting. Uh, your ministers say you work them hard. Well, you can see in 2022, we are the fastest G20 country growing. And also in this year, if you, t if you take just an oil GDP part, uh, we are the second fastest in the G20 in growing, so it's like a fight between Saudi Arabia and India, a good fight.